On this episode of Ugly Tent, when I take a look at the VanQuest Markor and my pack loadout, I'm going to build one last fire in the debris shelter. I'm going to eat a little bit. I'm going to show you how to sleep in your backpack or use your backpack for a sleeping pad. Check out some wildlife and take a look at the SAS Survival Handbook and some future projects. So stick around. Hey guys, it's Kenny with Ugly 10. I've got a great video for you today. We're going to spend one last night in the shelter with the fireplace. We're going to stoke up the fireplace one more time, get it rolling, get some heat going in the shelter, and I'll give you a look around before we tear it down and move on to something else. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. I can't believe how much darker it is in here with the uh, canopy. You know, the leaves are all, everything's out in bloom and it's grown out and it's beautiful. It's green, but uh, man, it's darker back here. It's crazy. So anyway, I didn't know if I had showed you, I didn't know if I had shown you all the, uh, this little workhorse. It is the uh, VanQuest Markhor. And I put my through knot headlamp on there. Some paracord and the multi-tool. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, you guys probably do this too, but for those of you who don't, here's an idea. So what I do is I take um, a headlamp. If you're like me, you've got a bunch of different headlamps or flashlights, and you're like, what am I gonna do with all those? So I stick them in a drawer, I go ahead and mount it to a backpack, and that's just where it lives. You know, that's where it stays from now on. A little hank of paracord, you know, that way you, I, I have forgotten them before, so now I've got a good place to, to stick it. And then this is Dad's old multi-tool had it in a drawer, I wanted to use it, so I stuck it on here so it's gonna live here. Also, this Markor can house a heavy cover canteen. For those of you like me who love the heavy cover canteen kit, it's even got the, the cup and lid inside here. It's got the little drawstring that you can cinch down and keep it from popping out. It's not gonna pop out, I gotta promise you that. It's in there snug, you got your molly webbing. And then, got my Wetterling's Axe fits inside the pocket. So these are really nice pockets. These aren't mesh. These are real durable. I think it's 500 or 600 denier Cordura. I'm not sure, but I know it's close to that. And then on the front, I just carry my dump pouch. You've got plenty of molly attachments here. That's where my dump pouch lives and rides again. That way I always know it's there if I need it. I like using a dump pouch for different things. You've seen that. And then inside this main pocket here, I've got some, this is a cordage to hang up the um, pack on the tree. Got my list of what I wanted to accomplish today because I'll forget if I don't for you guys. And then inside here, I've got my flashlights. I always keep my flashlights in the brain or the top part of my backpack. And let's open this sucker up. You can see what else I've got in here. So I've got schmog that I sleep with, uh, like, a, like a hood almost, and toboggan or toque, and the mask, because it's supposed to get, it's really cool tonight, but it's also, it's the moisture. I mean, the moisture is extremely high, so it's gonna be cold and damp and balmy. I brought along a book. I'm gonna be doing some stuff from the SAS Rival Handbook. This has been out for a long time. This is done by Lofty Wiseman. Um, this is full of knowledge. And if you, if you look through this, you'll see a lot of things that YouTubers have done, other um, survival and bushcraft channels. They're not original ideas. They're all in here. You know, so I was looking through and I was like, man, I've seen that before on such and such's channel or whatever. But I wanted to give you some ideas from this. So we'll be touching on this. Uh, later if you want me to leave a comment if you would like for me to go over some of this with you because there's some really good stuff on shelters on uh, foraging um, There's all kinds of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff in here. You probably never use hopefully, but uh, it's full of knowledge A food bag which is my hidden woodsman food bag first aid hygiene 
and snug pack. Oh, oh, that's my snug pack um, jungle blanket. I've got a SOL bivy again. My Thermarest pillow. I've got it in a solo stove bag. I lost the bag to this. But well, uh, some tools. Got a new Mora knife and a, of course the Oppenau saw I'm used to using. This is a new Bushcraft Forest. It's stainless, but I like it. I love the design of it. Love the shape, love the handle, love the way it feels. Maybe we'll do a review on that. Uh, oh, my kit. This is my this is my ECC kit. This is my Every Camp Carry kit. Got fire starting. Got some. Uh, I've got a little bit of everything here. Cordage, just a little bit of everything. But I always know where it's at. I just throw this in each pack as I go and keeps it together, keeps it organized. And lastly, the One Tigress Rock Poncho again. So we're going to use this, the SOL bivy, and the jungle blanket if we need it, if it gets cold enough. I did not bring a sleeping pad because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the backpack and I'm going to use the kneeling pad I always keep in here. And that's what we're going to sleep on tonight. But I know this shelter inside here is plenty comfortable. I've got wood shavings and stuff in there I keep um, to keep the moisture off of me. So we'll be plenty warm with that and the fireplace going. We'll be good to go. So that's the loadout. I know you guys always like to see what's inside the packs. I know I do. I like to see what's inside everybody's packs. I think it's cool. I know MCQ Bushcraft used to do that all the time. If you ever watched all his his channel and all his old videos, man, he used to break down everything and, and he'd make adjustments like I've made. I've taken parts of this, the front part of it off. And uh, you know, you customize it, make it yours. And I think that's the fun of it. That's the part of it. Now that we got this done, let's uh, well, let's just get comfortable. Let's start laying everything out and get this place set up and get comfortable and have a good evening here and just relax. I put a new support in here. A little heavier, a little beefier. Although, probably won't need it if we're gonna tear it down. Let's uh, let's get dinner going. I'm starving. I've got some coals. I'm gonna put my canteen on the coals and heat up some water and have a mountain house. Feels good to come out here and relax and not have to do a lot of work. Let's get our SOL bivy out and we can lay on it. I got a lot of comments on this shelter and people say, yeah, what could go wrong? It's a, a debris hut with a fireplace. But as you can see, you've got to maintain the fire. The odds of or the chances of the odds of catching 
everything else on fire is slim to none because everything's wet, everything's damp. It's hard enough to keep the fire going, let alone worry about burning my shelter down. I mean, it's possible, but not likely. Getting kind of cool. Time to put on our rock poncho. Uh. Guess what I found? So I found my thermo wrist pillow bag. <laughs> it's the poncho. I'm gonna have to do a better review on it because people said they couldn't see it in the dark. Man, this thing is awesome. Whew, it's so toasty. It's not dark yet. It's nine o'clock. Feels weird for it not to be dark yet. Ah, oh, look at that. Comfy. Let me show you how I get my backpack set up. <clears throat> so I get everything out of it, I just gotta lay it open and put the straps to the side, put the belt to the side, and there's a lot of cushion here. Makes a nice little pillow. Put your SOL blanket there. Oh, lay down on it. Oh, it just fit perfect. Oh, that's tight. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just like being at home. For real, that's the best. And you can just lay here and protect your back, keeps you off the ground, and keeps you from getting cold. Nice little headrest. Oh yeah. Then I'll take this, the other part, and I'll stick it underneath my back. Well, let me show you. So this will go here. Like that. 
and everything is just easy and peasy. Oh yeah. Son of a gun, it's comfortable. So I'm gonna put my jungle blanket over top of my legs and sleep like a baby. Uh, if I have to, I'll crawl inside the bivy. I may not have to. I dozed off. I was laying here just relaxing and yeah, dozed off. Check out the fire. Oh, that's nice. I'm telling you, man, this is just so comfortable and cozy. It's a little rough getting in and out of. Uh, you know, it's it's short or low to the ground. But, uh, man, it is cozy. It's really nice. But I'm going to call tonight. I'm going to go to bed for real. I'm tired of dozing off. I'm going to put one more log on the fire and let it just die down like that. You know, another thing, too, with this... Um, with that fireplace is that the rocks you know retain the heat so man i'm zoomed in aren't i here we go so the rocks retain a lot of the heat so even when the fire goes out you still have those rocks keeping the shelter warm yeah this is the good life really enjoy it thanks for coming along hope you're enjoying the video we'll see you in the morning I don't want to get up. I want to sleep longer. But the birds are telling, telling me it's time to get up. Well, shoot. I guess you can see me. I guess I'm gonna need my headlamp. It's starting to get daylight. Well, I have no idea what time it is. Let me look. Six o'clock in the morning. I slept pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I did have one problem. You know the headlamp I put on my backpack strap? As I roll over at night, it would kick on. I kept, I kept thinking, what is that light? My battery says 19 minutes. There's no way not to put it in my pocket and get it warm, I guess. I slept with my clothes and my jungle blanket, my bivy, and my uh, poncho. I just kept my poncho on and slept in it. It did all right. I got twisted up a couple times, but it's not a bad little poncho. <clears throat> so I saw that big old fat raccoon climbing up the tree <clears throat> and I just had my battery in my pocket trying to warm it up I couldn't get it hooked up in time to watch him go up the tree he's a big one but yeah, hopefully you got to see that he's up in that tree he's way up there too I didn't realize how high they went how high they climbed but see that's what you get when you immerse yourself in the forest 
the forest comes to you. You know, I had a little bird come over here and sing to me. Um, I never heard that kind of bird. I don't know what it was. It was the weirdest sound. It was kind of like, it sounded like it was underwater. It was like a, a I don't know how to describe it, like a drop of water or something. It was weird. There he is. Anyway, that's the best part about inconvenient camping is you get to see all these things that you normally wouldn't see like at a campground. I don't know what we're gonna do after this with the shelter. I guess we'll tear it down and start with something new. Or I might just use this area for tarp shelters and stuff like that. It's been a good one though. How to fix some coffee. I have that and a Sterling Foods apple spice cake. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites. I'm going to use the Emberlet stove. Some fuel tabs. And a lighter. So I'm just going to share some of this with you. I won't go into great detail, but I wanted to show you a few things here, like this. This is talking about the uh, the ladder beds. I'm sure you've seen that before on videos. We did that at Dave's at Dave Canterbury's survival basic survival. We did a ladder bed with the uh, he's got a blanket there, but it was the trash bags. Fire making talks about making fire even touches on yeah magnesium ferro rod kinds of neat stuff there's making making fences which i like i like a fence i know it's a psychological thing but here's one i really like how to use a natural hollow so this is probably something i'd like to try in the future and that's using a shallow depression uh, in the ground you know most people say oh, you're gonna get wet yeah it's where the rain collects and sometimes that's true but if you look at some of these depressions they're not always full of water or they're not always soaking wet it just depends on where it's located but I'd like to build a shelter inside one of those one day we'll try that I find my coffee. Oh, there it is. Taster's choice. I always grab the wrong end. I guess it doesn't matter. Here we go. Pack it in, pack it out. We'll put it in our food bag. Oh yeah. And our, oh man, look at that. I love these, I know they're just carbs, there's no protein in that, but I love these little pound cakes. These things are delicious. Mmm, spot on. So thanks for watching another episode of Ugly 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed my last night in the shelter. Um, I'm ready to tear it down though and build something else or do something else. But I'm surprised how long it lasted. I mean, it weathered the storms, literally. We had a lot of wind and a lot of rain um, over the last couple months. And it's held up well. Of course, I had to put some more debris on top of it, but if you look, the chimney's held up really well. 
did a good job. Happy with that. I know it can be done. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.